Well, welcome back. Today we are going to look at our first week in our project-based learning, uh, where we're going to build a virtual Rube Goldberg machine. Now I know it's not the one where we're going to build in the classroom, but we're going to build it. It's going to be in Scratch. I think it'll still be cool. So let's take a look at the project. So like I said, the goal is to create a virtual Rube Goldberg machine. We're going to do it in Scratch, and it is to simulate how a Rube Goldberg machine would actually work. So this week, the first step is to draw out what your Rube Goldberg machine might look like. Now, this doesn't have to be the absolute final design. This is just a way of getting our ideas together and start figuring out what our design might look like. So when you draw out your design, um, be open to changing it later. Uh, we're going to take a look at a couple different ways of designing it and taking uh, a couple different research links to see if we can figure that out. So first, let's dive in and look at some research. And this also gives me the opportunity to show you how you would go ahead and submit this assignment in Google. So when you click on the assignment, you'll see that we have an assignment that says design your Rube Goldberg machine for this week. When you get to the assignment and you click on it, you have all these links and this information. What I want you to do is click on view assignment rather than just clicking on the links right away. When you have clicked on the assignment, you get this window open up and now we can start clicking on some of these links and start doing some research about what a Rube Goldberg machine might look like. So we can look at this one. It tells us an easy way to build a Rube Goldberg machine. Like we have to pick a task. What do we want our machine to do in the end? What's the goal? Is it to crush a can? Is it to turn a light off? Is it to plant a seed? The fourth grade might be interested in that. Um, then this says choose your materials. Well, for us, we're not going to use recyclable materials. What we're going to use is the things that we learned about gears and ramps and pulleys. And that all needs to interact with each other inside of Scratch. So we're going to have to use all that information that we learned about those different things in class in order to design our system to work in Scratch. So once you have gone through all these different links, you can see that there's several here. We could look at different ones. This one's got some videos on it. Uh, you're going to draw on a piece of paper your actual design. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's We're just looking for some way of showing our design. Once you have drawn it out, you're going to need to take a picture of it. So to take a picture of it, you can use your device like we've done in class to take a picture of it. You can use somebody's cell phone and email it to yourself to take a picture of it. Uh, there's a couple different ways of doing that, but you need to get a picture of it. If you have a scanner at home, you can scan it into the computer and upload it that way. Uh, if you have issues with getting your picture in, you could always send it to me and I could get it into a format that would allow you to put it into uh, the Google Classroom. So once you've done that, you go back into the Google Classroom and we have this menu over here on the right. You're going to click Add or Create. You're going to create really a file. That's what it is. It's a link to a particular file. So when you click it, you can then select the file from your device. Um, you could select it from Google Drive if you have it stored there. So if you send me a picture, I'll, I'll see if I can add it to your drive. Uh, it could also be recent. So there's different ways of finding a file, but it has to be either on your computer or in your Google Drive. And it's going to be a picture of your drawing. So you're going to select your picture. And then when you're done, you're going to hit upload. And what will happen is, and I'm going to just select a picture real quick so it goes through that step. So I'm going to pick a picture of my workspace at home. And once I've done that, I'm going to click Upload. And it uploads the picture for me. And we now have a picture of my workspace at home. You'll have a picture of your Google drawing, your Rube Goldberg machine drawing. When you're done that, you're going to click turn it in. So we're going to click turn in and a message is going to come up that you have submitted your assignment.
and there we go if you want to change your picture if you want to do something else you have to hit unsubmit and then you can delete this picture and add a different one if you want to add multiple pictures you can add more than one picture of your design if it requires multiple pictures um, you can do that so if i hit unsubmit i can keep adding more and more pictures so if i have to add four or five pictures of my design feel free you have lots of paper and you want to take four or five pictures go ahead do that the better your design is the easier it's going to be for us to create this in scratch so that is the project for this week uh if you need help with it i'll be on zoom uh, during my office hours by touch spaces my touch bases and uh, good luck I'll see you next time